unisex bathrooms or same-sex bathrooms, what is it about this that makes some people get all weird and start thinking about, oh, there's going to be all these perverts coming around and peeking underneath my stall and it's going to make people all into child molesters. I mean, come on, get real. That's not even reality. Don't you think if some guy really wanted to go into the woman's bathroom, don't you think he could just go ahead and put a wig and a dress on and go in there? I mean, come on, you can't do that. And have you ever even seen, has anyone ever even seen a unisex bathroom? They're stalls and you, you, they make these stalls so you cannot even like look under them. Some of them are completely closed. You, you couldn't look under them if you, if you even tried to look under them because it's a wall, you dumb morons. Wake up. We need unisex bathrooms. Why? Because this one sex that people tend to forget about is the intersex. These are in between sexes. They're born that way. So yeah, for your information, it's more than one in 2,000 births are not, do not conform to your standard male or standard female, you know, uh, sex. For example, you might have a, a boy baby, he's really male, but he looks female because, you know, maybe he's got an opening and a very small penis that actually looks like a clip, but it's penis. And these people could grow up and they might look female or they might look male. They might be born uh, female, which means, you know, they have the uh, slit, an opening, and then they have a very large clit that actually looks like a penis. And they might grow up and look male. I mean, come on. You never know. It, it's, there's so many different variations. There's some that you could go on and think about this forever in your head and still not, you know, maybe not quite understand all the variations. I mean, there's every kind of variation you can imagine, and there's every kind of variation you cannot imagine. So come on, get real, and um, stop trying to do surgery on intersex babies and try to decide what sex they are. You can't do that. That's wrong. You, you, when you try to guess someone's sex, there's a 50-50 chance you're going to guess the wrong sex, and you're going to turn some poor child into the wrong sex or you know you could turn them into a sex they don't want to be or that they don't you know they choose not to be or for for any reason it could be they want they just want to be intersex they don't want to be a male or a female or maybe you because you choose them to be a female they get angry and they want to be a male or vice versa or you know they um they're born female with a very large clit and they like it that way. Um, who wouldn't? I mean, who would want their genitals cut on? I know I wouldn't. I mean, get real. Come on. We need privacy and we need intersex bathrooms. This is the way of the future. And, you know, don't think that intersex is, is very um, rare. It's more common than red hair. I'll repeat myself. Having genitals that do not conform to your average male or average female is more common than being born with red hair. So yeah, unisex bathrooms are the way of the future. So if you don't like it, well, that's just too bad because like I said, it is the way of the future. And if you don't like it, well, then just go screw yourself.